there guys, how the hell are you doing? It is uh, a brand new week, it is, uh, what day is it today? Wednesday, I've been asked to tell you what day it is when I'm vlogging. It's Wednesday today, I'm off to Norwich, this weather is unbelievable, I'm actually in a t-shirt. It's sunny, it's warm, it's lovely. I'm not expecting it to last, um, but I'm going to make the most of it by driving. That's why I'm actually leaving now, because I want to drive. Hey! Are you? Yeah. Oh, hey! Hi. Hey! Cool. What are the odds? Um, yeah, so, uh, driving to Norwich now, and that's why I'm leaving now, because it's really sunny, and I want to keep nice and warm. Well, that's annoying. I don't think I actually vlogged it, but the other day I went to get the car washed. Now, I, I'd not gone to the, you know, hand car wash people because the guy painting my wheels said, don't go there, they use really harsh chemicals, could mess up your wheels, but Mabel was getting so dirty, I thought, go on. So I took her, and they did a great job, but, um, I'd recently changed the wheel nut covers on my wheels, you probably remember that if you watch my vlogs, and they were now white, so their acid had stripped all the paint off those. So I just had to order some new ones um, from Audi uh, on eBay, and uh, they sent them to me, they're on, looking good. Right, enough waffling, Norwich. And I'm here, it only took like an hour and a half, so that wasn't too bad, beautiful weather still. I just want to say a massive... Um, Thank you to all the support that I got in the last video. The comments were incredible. Um, you guys seem to think the weekly vlogging is working, so that's awesome too. Um, I'm dumping my car on the outskirts of Norwich and getting a cabin. This is what I did last week when I was here, and it's just the better option because it means I can leave whenever I want because obviously I'm driving, I don't have to follow a train schedule. Um, yes, the taxi costs, but whatever. Cab took a while, but I'm finally here. So, this is exactly what happened last week. Beautiful sun, which means if it's the same as last week, tomorrow it's going to be rainy and bloody horrible. Good vibes. Let's uh, let's hope for good weather tomorrow. Bye. Hi, Jazzy. Can you stop moaning? I've only just got here. She's so rude, Jazzy. Oh, where? Are you? Where were you watching? Upstairs. We were picking up. Oh, here. You guys are so cool. It is probably the nicest evening we've had this year so far, babe. I'd say in England, anyway. Um, so what do, you, what do you do when it's lovely outside? You go inside and you watch a movie, which is what we're going to do. But what are we seeing? 10 Club of Third Lane. Boom! Is that right? That was right. Yes. Let's go. Okay, so the film was... Shit! <laughs> it, it wasn't very good. Alex um, said that it was really good and he's like really into his film, so I, was, I had high hopes. It was alright. Would I watch it again? Probably not. And I would re-watch a lot of films, so... I should speak volumes, I guess. It's Thursday, guys. Um, a whole new day. Beautiful day again. Um, I don't know if this is nice. I haven't actually been out yet. So, oh, Burb's in her sunnies. How you feeling, Burb? Sunny. She's feeling sunny. Um, yeah, I don't know if actually know if, if it's as nice as it was yesterday outside because we haven't been out yet. Um, bit of a late start today, but that kind of always happens on the first day that I'm down in Norwich. Um, because you got to have that cuddle time in the morning. Um, <laughs> cuddle time. You wouldn't have just let that like. Well, I'll show her after I've watched this video. Because you've got to have that YouTube time in the morning. Um, right, I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, maybe get some food, maybe work. I don't know. Let's do something. I'll tell you about everything I said. It is now raining, this weather. It's just so British. Not really a lot has happened today. I have done two videos for Geordie because uh, when he went to LA, he couldn't upload the footage to me uh, because the internet there was rubbish. And um, well, he could, but it took him like two days to do it. So I had to wait for that. So I've had to do catch, play catch up. I'm now up to date with Geordie's videos so now I can go back to doing one a day. And uh, yeah, not much planned for tonight. I am popping to Nando's to pick some chicken up to bring it back. Uh, I wasn't going to film anymore today, but someone commented they missed my food reviews, so I thought I'd take you guys with me. Now, previous uh, history of getting food from Nando's and bringing it home has not been good. They've kind of got my order wrong, like, every time I've tried it before. I don't tend to get a takeaway from Nando's, but tonight the bird was doing, like, the heaters. I'm not into that. I had to think of something that I could do that was around the corner that was easy, and I was like, well, we've got nothing in, so I'll get some Nando's. And yeah, like I say, Every time I've had it before, they got it wrong, so fingers crossed tonight it'll be different. Hell yes. <sighs> Thank you very much, have a good day. See ya. Well, that was a bit of a mission. I turned up when it said to town, which is like 25 past, 
And I just said, oh yeah, I got come here to collect him. And she's like, name, gave him my name. And she goes to the guy, oh, five wings for Ben? And he's like, yeah, and he put them on the grill. So, so much for being there on time. So, uh, I think they've got everything there. So let's see what I got in my bag of goodies. I got the Piri Piri salt because that stuff is awesome. I got fries. I got fries. I got halloumi cheese. Hells yes. And I got five wings. Medium. Well, that did not disappoint. That was fantastic. I love the little containers they give you as well. It's awesome. The girls are eating homemade fajitas. Are they good? Very good. Oh, well, they're good. Not my cup of tea, so I went and got the chicken. And, uh, rude, I'm vlogging. And, uh, yeah, I didn't regret it at all. That was great. Don't even know where I left off last night. Probably something to do with Nando's. Um, it is a whole new day. It is Friday. Um, I'm sat here waiting for the burb to, like, let me know what she's doing. She's out. I've been working this morning. Um, I still haven't had anything for breakfast. I'm waiting to see if she's coming back for breakfast or I'm getting on my own. But she's not replying. Come on, Burb. I thought I'd let you guys in on my thought process uh, for my new office when we move house. Um, I wanted to get a kind of a, a bespoke desk, kind of a custom desk. Um, the one at my current house is absolutely fine, but I kind of want to leave it there so um, when I go back to see the folks, um, I've got a desk to work on. Um, and I really wanted to have a desk um, made out of reclaimed wood, like kind of pallet boards. Yeah, not pallet boards. Um, scaffolding boards. Um, it's just a really cool, um, you know, really just just awesome. Um, I found one online. Let me show you it. I found this bad boy on Etsy, uh, and that is like all reclaimed wood. Look, it's all. Just looks wicked. The only problem is that one costs like three hundred pounds, including delivery, um, which is, I suppose, it's probably not bad for what it is because it's all custom welded and everything. But it's probably a bit too much um, to justify on, on an office desk. So I've been kind of looking into different options, and I popped on IKEA's site. And don't get it wrong, I know they weren't going to sell anything cool like that, but they did sell this. This is obviously that's just like an MDF top um, and the legs. And I thought, well, that's not going to be very good. Hold on legs. So I had more of a look around the IKEA site and it turns out that you can indeed get just the legs. So my new plan is get these legs, two of these, they're only £10, bargain. And then my friend Rob, um, who you guys will know from the vlog, um, he's, he's like a builder and that's what he does for a living and he's really handy and stuff like that. Um, so what he's going to do is he's going to make the tabletop for me by putting scaffolding boards together, you know, attaching them and sanding them and then you know staining it and stuff and it's going to save me a ton of money um and i think it's going to look pretty cool um so i think i'm just trying, trying to work out currently if the load of the wood and the iMac and all that will be okay on those stands they've got a load of like 50 kg i think so yeah so i think we'll be all right that is uh, where I'm at with that. I'm excited. I really just want to do it now, but the problem is I can't really do it till I've been into the new place and measured my office space, which the current people who live there have said that we're more than welcome to do, but actually trying to get them to organise a time where we can go is proving a bit of a nightmare. So it might just have to be a case where I wait till July um, and then find out then. Hopefully not, but we will see. Right. It's really rubbish weather again. I might just brave it and go get some breakfast because I'm starving and I cannot wait for the burb any longer. I'm back. I've got a burb with me as well. I went and sat for one of the uh, places in the marketplace, another one, and had a bacon sausage baguette. It was super good. I enjoyed it. And my hair is, I can't imagine how ruined it's going to be. Let's try it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's just done for the day. The weather outside is frightful. <sighs> What do you know? Nothing a bit of a hair drying and hairspray can't salvage. The burb is in the shower getting all lovely again and uh, I'm going to crack on with one of Geordie's edits in a bit. Taking a quick break from my Geordie edit to experience the burb getting her clothes out. The washer, no the dryer. That's even more exciting. Burb, look at this. Yes! This is going well, burb. Oh, that again, Charlotte. Okay. Get them bloody claws out. Whoa, look at this. Can you see? Oh, look. Ow. Let me see if it focuses on my hand. Whoa, yes, look at the static. That's amazing. That's amazing. It keeps, it keeps getting me. Ow. It's time, it's time. It's food time. Um, I think the burb is going to have pasta with jazz when she gets back. Uh, so it's up to me to fend for myself again. Burb, you're abandoning me. You've left me for a vegetarian. Don't do this. <laughs> and, uh, 
So I think I was going to get Deliveroo because I haven't tried Deliveroo yet. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, it's a new service. He goes to like, that was weird. The lift is over for us. Um, Delivery is a service uh, for people who want to get takeaway from like places that don't deliver and they'll go pick it up and bring it over. I was going to try it. I haven't tried it yet. I wasn't trying it, but decided against it. I'm going to go across the same reason and see if there's anything that tickles my pickle there. For those of you wondering, dinner was a success. I got a burger and some microchips and the burb cooked it up for me. She did a burp. She did a stellar job. It was wicked. Um, so, left and I've just started rendering Geordie's video. The burb is making all kinds of noise. Then later we're going to play some Cards Against Humanity and just have a good time. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, burb. Hi, it is another day, it is Saturday, and Burb, uh, we are, we're just working, it's Saturday uh, afternoon, and we're still working. Burb, what are we doing in a couple of hours? We are going to see Gavin James. Uh, if you are like me, you don't know who he is. He's a Irish musician uh, who plays on his acoustic guitar, and I think it's actually going to be, going to be quite a fun show. Uh, a lot different than the kind of shows we normally go to, so that's going to be fun. Uh, I have just finished Geordie's edit for today, that is uploading, I'm now going to start editing this vlog. And then we will go to Sainsbury's to get food for tonight for when we get back from the show. And then we'll get the show. Mission accomplished, they are making us our custom pizzas which we can then go and cook when we get back from the show. So what we did last time we went to the waterfront and it proved to be very, 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 very good. So. The Burb is getting a pre-made pizza because she's not as cool as me. What are you going for, Burb? Well, what are you going to? You can't decide. Oh no. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Burb, I got mine. Can you just can you just pick what you're having and we'll get gone. Do you know to get a vegetarian one? Don't be a fool. Look at all the cheese. Look at all the cheese. Ugh. Turns out for the first time in our lives we're actually early to something, like 20 minutes early and the doors aren't even open. Um, so we thought we'd investigate a little, you know, explore and uh, we've come to the second bridge in Norwich. We always go to that one over there. We've come to this one and we're down by the river now. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. It's cold. It's cold. But uh, I reckon in the summer it's going to be awesome down here. So I'll make sure for sure that we get down here. And maybe have a Pims or something, bub. Well, that is the gig done, and uh, but good call. That was really good. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I mean, uh, yeah, it was a good night all around. Um, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. It's been, uh, I'd say, a fun-filled week. No, no different to normal, really. <laughs> but anything you want to leave the guys with before we go? Check out Gavin James. Yeah, check out Gavin James online. He's really good. Um, leave a like, leave a comment. We will talk as always, guys. I will see you next week. And remember, as always, do what you love. And do it for you. Woo! Awesome.